fame makes you feel invincible because you're like, I have access to things that a majority of the world doesn't have access to immediately at the snap of my fingers. So if you think that's not going to make another man feel invincible, you're crazy. And that's what happens. People start thinking that what they have is forever. It's a, it's a trick. It's a trap. And what if people stop listening to my music? And what if I can't do things for my family? I don't know, it's weird. It happens to me every day. I always go through phases. Some days I'll just go an entire day feeling like shit. I, I don't think I ever go through it an entire day feeling extremely happy. I just yeah, have very crazy mood. Switches all the time. Are your parents going with you or just you two? Um, just, just me and Kat. Warning, this is another time where I'm like, oh, Leroy, you fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you ungrateful <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> but I was, before that, yes, I'm going to, right now I'm going to be like, oh, I don't want to go to the Grammys. And like, I hate that that was my headspace right there. But again, I was like in the middle of like, going through a lot of shit and like there was just so many moving pieces to this whole thing and then by the time I got there I just like felt like shit and it was just like a you know I was in a whole different perspective and mindset I was just in like a very dull spot so um newsflash or PSA or warning more so warning before this next scene because I, I that was this is one scene like even last night I like watched back and I was like oh fuck <laughs> I hate this for you Leroy <laughs> but also but that again like not but yeah, putting a, in the polished version because that's yeah. that's how you did feel and we're all human and 100%, I think yeah. you know you could look back on something you did or what you felt and say man I should have been more grateful or I wish I didn't feel that way but you did and I think I, the best thing is I think people are going to be able to see this and be like all right I'm not always gonna feel like I felt the right way at the exa at the at a time I should have and I think that vulnerability and relatability is what makes this project special so. 100% well it's like funny because now I like in, I'm at, I, you know look back and I'm like wow you know well I'm like you know I feel okay like I'm like all right I give myself um what's it called like uh like, I'm like, okay, I'm okay with it because I'm like, all right, I was going through stuff and that's like life. You just, shit like that happens. But I look back and I'm like, you know what? I should have been more in the moment. I should have been more grateful. I should have been, you know, like regardless of um, how I feel about certain, th you know, it's like, you're like, fuck, like, um, yeah, I should, I should be grateful to even be there, you know? But at the time, I was definitely like, fuck this shit. So, yeah. Here we go. In and out, no ceremony? Um, nah, I don't know. I'm not trying to go that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. I really don't even want to go to the red coffee thing either, but I'm here, I guess. But I know, I know what you envisioned with the bag of your yeah. pen. But it definitely looks fire. Look at me just moping around about everything. <laughs> I wanted the pants to be bag here. <laughs> Maybe we can big chicken. I don't think I've ever really been excited about an award show. I was already not feeling good, and then I just went there and just like hectic. All right, we have Kid Roy tonight. How are you doing? Are you so excited to be here? Oh yeah, I'm stoked. Now you're nominated in the <laughs> yeah. Best New Artist category. When you got that nomination, what went through your head? I also get it's like a thing in history. You know, really cool, like music's biggest night. But then you feel like you're like in competition. It stresses artists out and it makes artists get into this whole frenzy. It makes artists insecure. So I just walked to the carpet or whatnot and then dipped. When I was younger, maybe I thought that this was going to make me happy. 
I understand that this is quote unquote what you signed up for. Pink hair was kind of a vibe, no? I kind of liked it. Pink hair was a vibe. I kind of liked it. I had it for a couple of days because I psyched myself out um, for some reason. I think some. I think somebody. I did. Huh? Yeah, me, did, me and you did the same. We did the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I remember. But it was kind of hard. I kind of liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Any more thoughts on the pink hair, guys? Good. Good time. Good <laughs> Comment. Bring it back. Pro <laughs> said, "Good. Good time. We'll keep it there. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it there." <laughs> we'll, we'll keep that error there. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Michael? Bring it back. <laughs> Bring I want it back. back. It made me so much less confident in myself. It's made me, like, question everything I do. Because you're on a pedestal and because you're an artist, everyone looks at you as, like, the voice. Sometimes you don't know what to say when certain things are thrown at you. I'll be on stage, I'll be like, hey, did I, did I say that correctly? Did I respond to that correctly? It's stuff like that that freaks me out. A moment can be taken in a TikTok or a Twitter or whatever and thrown up and everyone can all of a sudden have this opinion on me. People who know me and they know like my heart, but people who are fans maybe don't because they just don't know me. Money, fame, dreams coming true, that doesn't resolve problems. It doesn't stop them from happening. If anything, they just come on a bigger scale, you know? But I do tell myself every day, be grateful. You know, look at what you've got, be happy. People have an idea about happiness, and I had that same idea. You know, once I get certain things, Everything will be fine. So they look at it like, oh. Also, like, what was like? Did I kind of have a mustache? <laughs> you got a full, you got a full mustache. Musty ass mustache. <laughs> like, what was good? I think I was on tour and I was just being that too an, lazy to shave, Austin. right? Yeah. That was in Austin. You had like, uh, oh, you were. Well, maybe I was. I thought it was a vibe. It was. It was one or the other. I was either like. Just it rock. I, I probably. I probably was. I. I think I was at the time where I was like, damn, I kind of want facial hair. But it just grew so musty, like, <laughs> such a weird color. Like, it's like, I look unwell. Yeah, we'll, leave, we'll leave that in the, the pink hair. We'll leave that in the past as well. That I think you go stash with pink hair. Musty ass mustache. Well, you know, you're still rich, like whatever. Did I, did I go on stage like that? <laughs> <laughs> Fried! <laughs> One night I um I was just going through a lot and I was just super like suicidal. And I really was thinking about, you know, some fucked up shit. I always felt like that for like a long time. Ever since I was a little kid, honestly, but I definitely think the whole famous thing just like amplified it way more.